The value of the arts, it certainly gives you a more rounded personality and background. I mean, to, to, to focus on the scientific and the mathematic is great, but I think you need that well-rounded exposure, and the arts certainly gives that. Our mission statement encourages art education. Our goal here is to bring art to the community in any way, shape, or form that we can. I see our Art League as serving the community, so we try to have a wide variety of interests to attract the children in the area, to attract people that don't think of themselves as artistic. The current art that's hanging is from our Thursday morning paint group. It's all pieces that they've created. The members that are here are part of the Thursday morning paint group. They come in, they help each other, they work together. They, To me, they're just a wonderful group of people that are more than willing to share their art. If somebody comes in that has never painted before and wants to paint, they will stop what they're doing and help that person create something. That's what's so great. Everybody helps everybody. Well, you see here today, this is an informal thing that happens every Thursday. And it's an opportunity for people to come to kind of learn from one another without a real formal class structure. And it's good because we learn from one another. If nothing else, it teaches you art appreciation to see people develop and change and grow in their artwork and along, along with me, you know, so it's really a neat community type thing. This was way beyond any of the classes that I've ever had before and since then I've never been disappointed with the quality of national teachers that come here into this little teeny Millsboro and this little teeny hidden gem that have. It's, it's amazing. That's wonderful. Yeah. And it's important. It's a very important part of the town and I I personally think it's very valuable and I hope that people that have come in leave here with that same feeling. The Newark Arts Alliance was formed in 1993 when a group of artists, writers and musicians got together in Newark and they wanted to form an organization that gave creative people a place to kind of explore and display their creativity. We help bring the arts to downtown Newark. We have a place where artists congregate and that just kind of helps add to, I would say, the bohemian feel of Main Street in the Newark area. We have a gallery shop where local artists can have art on display and for sale throughout the year. We also have a classroom space and that's where we offer classes for artists of all ages and skill levels. What we're going to do is go ahead and grab your uh, cupcake. We have an exhibition gallery where we have a new exhibition every month. Uh, always a local artist, mostly themed shows where several artists contribute to a show, but we also do solo shows as well. What you see here tonight is my uh, first solo show with the Newark Arts Alliance. It's man's relationship and animals' relationship to each other and how we affect each other. Well, I think the Newark Arts Alliance is a wonderful place for local artists to come in. They, they encourage the, uh, the more skilled artists and, and the less skilled artists to come in and uh, enrich themselves, and I'm proud to be a part of it. Well, a lot of times people are confused by the name Arts Alliance, and a lot of times people think, oh, it's like a closed group of artists, and that's really not true. A lot of uh, organizations have names like that because they start out as groups of artists, so artists get together and they form an alliance, but then it becomes something much bigger and I think more profound than that, it becomes a place where everyone is welcome and everyone has a chance to express themselves in a safe environment and also see what other people in their area are creating as well. <laughs> the Miss Pillion Art League gives people a place to come to express themselves and that's very important. It gives them a way to connect to the community and to make friends and to volunteer. The arts makes a, an excellent economic driver for the community. We brightened up the downtown, it's encouraged other businesses to come in downtown. There's been numerous businesses opening, opening up since, um, since we've been here. 
we started this league for, so we could hold classes, um, do arts education for adults and children, but also so we could provide a venue for artists to sell their art, so we could encourage artists to produce more art. We have uh, levels of classes for, in all areas. The very first thing we have to do is we have to paint the whole canvas People that have never picked up a pencil in their life would have fun in our classes. We offer a big program of arts education for children um, and adults, and we do programming collaborations with other organizations in town and with the school district. We continue to try and meet the needs of the community. That's it, and you can go up and down. They tell us more classes or we want to see this, and we hope to just continue to meet those needs. You're doing terrific. Yeah, keep going.